I'm paranoid about this. Even though my expiration date is years from now, I always check it every time I book a trip. Like, okay, I'm good. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing travel mistakes to avoid when flying. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting off with the most obvious and that is arriving late to the airport. People, please give yourself enough time to get to the airport. It doesn't matter if you have TSA pre-check, it doesn't matter if you're flying domestic, things happen so you gotta do better with time management. Mistake number two, having a jam-packed itinerary. Like island hopping or visiting multiple European countries in a short time frame or going on daily day trips or having excursions planned every day. I was once this person. I felt like I got the best out of my trip if I had a full itinerary, but it's exhausting. Nowadays, I'd rather do foot tours and I'm lucky if I get in one tour per trip. Mistake number three, overpacking. Now I admit, I'm guilty of this, so I won't sit here and say it's easy, but I do much better using packing cubes. I feel like I still overpack, but as long as everything fits, that's what matters. It's like USPS, if it fits, it ships. I have this exact six piece packing cube set, but since I mostly travel with a carry-on, I use about three or four, depending on what I pack. And if you're interested in a set, it'll be linked in my description. Mistake number four, pack in liquids, including gels and creams larger than 3.4 ounces in your carry-on luggage. Those items will get tossed in the trash at the security screening, or if you don't want your things tossed, you'll have the option to go all the way back to the ticket counter and check in your carry-on. Then go back to the security checkpoint and go through the security screening again. But if you're short on time, like your flight is boarding soon, you may have to accept that loss. Mistake number five. If you're solo traveling, sharing with strangers that you're traveling alone. For safety reasons, you should keep that to yourself. You can be friendly and social, but careful with what you share. Mistake number six. Not downloading your Google Maps before arriving at your destination. This way, if you're not connected to the internet, or unable to connect to Wi-Fi, you can use your maps offline. I'm going to screen share and show you how to download Google Maps on an iPhone. Now, first things first is you're going to open up the Google Maps app on your phone. So I'm going to open up Google Maps. Next, at the very top in the search here field, you're gonna type in the city, state, or country, wherever you're visiting. So I'm going to use Brooklyn, New York as an example. And you can type in anything. You can type in a town. You can be as specific as you want. And at the very bottom, you're gonna click search. Then where you see directions, start, save, you're gonna scroll to the left till you get to the very end. And at the very end, there's a download button. So you wanna click download. Then at the top is asking you download this map. Then you go to the bottom and there's another download button. So you wanna click download. Now the map is downloading and you just have to wait till it finished downloading. Okay, so now the download is complete. Now in order to view your maps offline, you wanna click your profile picture in the top right corner. Then you're gonna scroll down to offline maps and click that. So I'm going to click offline maps. Now all the maps that you downloaded will be listed under downloaded maps. So my Brooklyn map is downloaded, so I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to click the box. And then it opens the map that you downloaded. Mistake number seven, booking short layover connection flights. 
Anything under an hour and a half to two hours is risky. This happened to me on my way to Mexico. The airline changed my flight last minute from a direct to connecting. And of course, my first flight was delayed. Plus, to top it off, my connecting gate was on the other side of the airport. <laughs> Mistake number eight. Not packing something warm when traveling to the Caribbean or a warm destination. Like a long sleeve shirt or jacket, a pair of pants. You never know if you may need it. The temperature could drop lower than you expect or not, but it's better to be prepared for various weather conditions. Mistake number nine, booking afternoon or evening flights. Now I know this may not be in our control every time, but if you can, book early morning flights. Morning flights have less delays and less cancellations. Mistake number 10, not confirming if your destination country requires a visitor visa to enter the country. The airline app always provides a checklist to complete to prepare you before traveling. So I recommend using the airline app to stay current with your flight itinerary. Mistake number 11, not checking the expiration date on your passport prior to traveling. Passports are valid for 10 years and it should have at least six months validity prior to the expiration date before traveling. Some countries even allow one year validity prior to the expiration date. I'm paranoid about this. Even though my expiration date is years from now, I always check it every time I book a trip like, okay, I'm good. Mistake number 12, not checking in online 24 hours prior to your flight departure. Remember, this guarantees you a seat on the plane and you can select your seat, unless you already reserved your seat at the time of booking the flight. Mistake number 13, not traveling with at least two cards, debit or credit cards. So if you happen to lose one, you'll have another as backup. I recommend traveling with a travel credit card over a debit card. Some travel cards waive foreign transaction fees and you can earn travel points. Mistake number 14, not traveling with the currency of the country you're visiting. For the best exchange rates, go to your local bank. And depending on what type of bank account you have, the currency conversion fee is waived. Or if you can't make it to your bank, use an ATM inside the airport once you land. And avoid those airport exchange kiosks because they charge hefty exchange rates. Mistake number 15, not declaring any perishable foods, souvenirs, or over $10,000 in cash. But first, you must check if what you're bringing back is allowed in the country. Otherwise, if you get caught or selected for a random search, you will get fined or customs will confiscate or seize the items. If you have any travel mistake stories, comment them down below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Provocations, c'est ça qui commence la pagaille. Imitation, c'est ça qui commence la pagaille.